The old men of the Miwite people hold council. The tribe is directed by the old men, who are leaders and are treated with great respect. When they become too old to fend for themselves, they take young wives to look after them. A young child of the Wangari clan has died, and the old men are discussing plans for his funeral corroboree. An Aborigine's funeral takes place at two ceremonies, one at death and the second a good time later, when food gathering brings the clan that way again. The old men are also discussing the second ceremony of an adult who died some time ago. The burial ceremony takes place at no special time, but is used as an excuse for celebration. The men of the tribe make up their bodies with pipe clay for the death corroboree. The mourning colour among the Aborigines is white. The scars on their chests are their initiation marks. They approach and leave the funeral ground, taking a zigzag course so that the spirit of the dead will not know which way to follow them and will not frighten the fish and animals when they go hunting. The first ceremony is for every initiated member of the clan to placate the spirit of the dead so that the spirit shall do him no evil. Their gaiety is largely bravado in the face of the unknown. Some of the natives beat on sticks. The long droning pipe is the didgeridoo. Another chance. All the mourners are painted except the father. He wears no makeup since he has presumably treated the child with kindness and need have nothing to fear from its spirit. of the infant, wrapped in paper bark, is lifted onto the platform where it will be left to decompose. placed in the ground beside the platform. The bark around the top of the pole is symbolic of the spirit's hair. This spirit pole 
is to receive the bones of the adult. It is painted with the morion of the deceased. Each man of the tribe has a secret morion which is given him at initiation. It is a secret symbolic map so that when he dies he may find his way to his dream time home where he will dwell until he is reincarnated. The children of the tribe are watched for characteristics of the dead in their reincarnations. This morion represents the sea, lily roots, taste together waters, meaning brackish water where the river meets the sea, a sandbank, seaweed, and a freshwater turtle. The initiated approach the sacred place, a symbolic water hole in which the dead man's bones are laid wrapped in paper. They dance round the bones and spear them to frighten away the spirit of the dead man. They wish him to leave his familiar haunts and return to his place in dream time. The leading dancer in the group is Leah Karin, the man who arranges the dances and songs of the tribe. As they have no written language, theirs is a memory culture. Some of the old men remember as many as 2,000 song cycles, songs of their history and legendary. biting bag the native holds in his mouth has strong magic power. In it is often kept the dried blood of the deceased. The bones are smeared with red ochre and placed in the hollow spirit pole, which is afterwards stopped with bark and dried blood. The bones have now been rendered harmless. No spirits will come back to haunt the Wangari folk. The corroboree is over and the clams are on the move again towards the inland. There, the smoke wisps of their fires can be seen today. There, they will live and hunt and laugh as they have for centuries. These, the first Australians.